like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. On number 23, we've got a word problem that says the illuminance of a surface varies inversely. There's a key phrase there, we'll come back to that. With the square of its distance from the light source. If the illuminance of a surface is 120 lumens per square meter, when its distance from a certain light source is six meters, by how many meters should the distance of the surface from the source be increased to reduce its illuminance to 30 lumens per square meter. So first we have to understand what it means to vary inversely. So when you have two quantities that vary inversely, then that essentially means that as one variable increases, the other one decreases. So the way to set up an equation to make that happen is, and I'm just gonna write this out in English first. So the two variables here are gonna be the illuminance of the surface, and the square of the distance from the light source. So of the distance from the light source squared. So I'm just going to write this out in, in English. So the illuminance of the surface varies inversely. And I'll show you how that, that uh, looks algebraically in just a minute. Uh, with the square of the light source. So yeah, this is squared. Um, so I'm just going to write squared here for now. Okay, so this is, in English, what we want to translate into um, algebra. So I'm still going to be, I'm still going to use words here. We could use some variables here, but just to kind of simpl to simplify this a little bit. So the illuminance varies inversely. So if two variables vary inversely, okay, so if like y varies inversely with x, then the equation you want to set up is going to be y equals and then some constant divided by x. And so the strategy for us when we're solving this is going to be to set up this equation, plug in a value for x and y that is given, and we're going to pull that from the problem, solve for a k, so we know what the constant is, and then we're going to plug in 30 uh, to, to actually um, to figure out what, what y would be. So this is going to be our setup, y equals k over x, and so the illuminance, since it varies inversely, is equal to uh, just some k, some constant, divided by the distance from a light source squared. So I'm just going to write that as distance squared. Um, can we, can we make that a superscript? I don't know if that's going to be possible. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, I'll just put an extra two up here. Okay, so the varies inversely with, that's going to be our equals k over, okay? And then um, the distance from the light sword squared, I've got that in my denominator over here. So this is gonna be my equation that we start with. Okay, so let's go back in and start plugging in some numbers here. So it says, if the illuminance is 120 lumens per square meter, when the distance is six meters, so K over six squared, then what, how many meters should the distance be if uh, should be increased to reduce its illuminance 30 lumens uh, per square meter. So first, in order to answer that question, we need to find out what our constant is here. So 6 squared is 36, so we have k over 36, and then we need to multiply both sides by 36. So I'm going to pull up my calculator here just to make sure I'm getting the right answer here. Uh, bear with me just a moment. Let me pull this up. 
Ah, there we go. Okay, so I've got 120 times 36. So I get 4,220. 4,320. And that's going to be our constant. So now we can write this equation knowing the constant y equals 4,320 over x squared, where x is the distance. So remember, this is the illuminance. And down here, this is the distance. OK. So now the question is asking, um, how many meters should the distance to the surface be increased? So we're going to say if the distance was originally six meters, what do we need to? How much do we need to increase that to make sure that the illuminance is reduced to thirty? So we want this to be thirty. We're going to solve for the distance. Okay, I'm going to call that x. Or I guess I could just leave a distance. That's fine. And uh, so yeah. So first, I need to multiply both sides by the distance squared. So thirty times the distance. I'll just call it D. You know what? Just going to call it D. So the distance squared equals 4,320. I'm going to divide both sides by 30. And let me move this over so you can actually see what I'm doing. So we've got 4,000. 320 divided by 30. So you get 144. And then I need to take the square root of that. So the square root of 144 is 12. So the distance is 12. Now, um, don't just answer 12 right away. We need to make sure that we're answering the question that's being asked. And it says, by how many meters should the distance be increased to? So the original was six, right? So let me just type this out. So the original distance was six meters. The new distance is 12 meters. So by how many meters should the distance be increased? And so we're gonna increase it by six because six plus six is 12. So our answer here is going to be choice B. This is very tricky. This one's easy to get wrong because if you, even if you solve this out totally correctly and you get the distance 12, I see a lot of students will just want to pick 12 as their answer. But the question is actually asking how much does the distance increase from the original distance? So it increases by 6. So that's it for number 23. Thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.